Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make some quick and easy donuts. Uh, I like to buy these tins of biscuits. Uh, <clears throat> you can get them at your local supermarket, wherever you choose. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand you use. You can use the smaller size tubes of biscuits or you can use the larger tubes like I'm using. Uh, this one only has uh, eight biscuits in it. Uh, the smaller tubes have ten. Uh, these make little larger donuts. Uh, and it's pretty simple. Uh, you just open the biscuits as if you were going to bake them. Now, of course, you can bake these as well if you want to, but they come out more like biscuits than they do like donuts. I like to deep fry mine. I will say you must have very fresh oil, unused oil. If it's been used, it does not work. Uh, it will absorb flavors from anything else that you've cooked in it. Okay, I put a little bit of flour down on my cutting board here so that when I'm working with the donuts, they don't stick to the board. And I'm using simply a two liter pop bottle top. Uh, you can use other things as well, but I happen to have one of these and it works very well for me. All I do is I drop it into the center of the biscuit, press down with my thumb, and push. You have to push very hard to make the cut. Once you've done that, your donut comes out like that, and your donut hole pops out over here. You go through and do this to all eight biscuits. And you're only going to cook one biscuit, maybe two biscuits at a time if they'll fit. Uh, you can use any deep fryer. I simply use a saucepan filled with oil, uh, about half full. And what I'm basically going to show you here is how to cook donuts. And as far as frosting a donut or whatever, you can roll them in powdered sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, uh, cinnamon and sugar. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is I've got some uh, strawberry uh, cake frosting, which... Uh, I had stuck in my freezer, so I thawed it out so that I can I can use it. Uh, you have to wait till the donuts are cool to frost them, or the coatings just melt. But what I'm going to do here is show you how to make my donuts. I've got the oil heating up. Uh, now this is just plain vegetable oil, although you can use uh, peanut oil. Uh, any, any, any oil is fine if it's a cooking oil uh, and this is the hard part is putting the donuts and the holes together uh, the hardest part is actually getting the donut hole out of the lid and it isn't that difficult And they come out just like regular donuts. And let's see how the temperature is on my oil. Uh, not quite ready, but it's pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my donut that has a hole already cut in it, and I'm going to drop it into the hot oil. Now the oil has been heating up. It's not at the hottest temperature. It's at medium high, and uh, in order to cook this, it has to set for a few minutes, and cook. Uh, the dough does not cook real slowly, but you have to give it time. You don't want to flip it until it is cooked on one side thoroughly. If you do flip it before it cooks well on one side, 
flipping it back over again the second side will work but it doesn't work as well as it does if you do only one side at a time and what you do is you allow it to get to the point where it is golden brown now as this heats up a little bit more they will cook faster but you don't want to cook them too high a temperature because they will burn very easily and what you have to do is watch the side and just kind of look at the side of the donut and see where the coloring is if it's kind of a golden color uh, that's your cue to flip it over uh, it only takes a couple of minutes in the oil you can see it's almost cooked there now and let me give you a little better view of this down here in the oil cooking okay and there's our donut and I'm about to flip it over and there you see what the donut looks like on the outside now in order to drain these off I highly recommend that you take a couple of paper towels and fold them so that you have uh, something for them to drain on and then we'll lay that off to the side and allow the donuts to cook thoroughly I have a pair of tongs hanging on right clo close here so that I can pick them up out of the oil because they don't always pick up the easiest with a fork or a knife uh, so I use the tongs to remove them from the oil uh, but give that just a minute or two to cook it doesn't take very long uh, but you do want the, the dough to form air bubbles and cook so that it is done and as you roll it over you can see that this side is the same color as the other side and that gives you a pretty good donut and you just simply take that and lay it over on your paper towel to allow it to dry and now you can see as the oil is heating up that it cooks a whole lot faster while I'm cooking the donuts I can take a few of the donut holes and drop them in as well you must be careful that you don't get burnt when doing this that oil does get pretty hot I would say it's at the neighborhood of about 350 degrees uh, anything less than that does not cook the donuts fast enough uh, anything higher than that temperature could burn your donuts and you simply flip the donuts over and you do the same with the donut holes although the donut holes will pretty much flip themselves and they take a little less time to cook than the donuts do but it still it doesn't take long for either one and as I said before you can roll them in powdered sugar confectioner sugar uh, you can layer them with uh, cake frosting cinnamon sugar if you have something special you want you can uh, use it instead and uh, if you uh, watch them and see when they basically stop frying they're pretty much done then uh, that's one of the ways you can tell that the donut holes are done I'm going to do two at one time now they will work as long as it fits in your pan without letting over top of each other it will work you do have to keep them separated so that they do not stick together when you first start frying them uh, as I said this tin is going to give me eight donuts uh, now if if you would like to do something like uh, maybe a jelly roll or something of that nature you can take the whole biscuit like this and fry it it does take longer to do because it doesn't have that hole in the middle which allows oil to penetrate all sides of the donut so it cooks slower but you can 
cook them up like that as, as if they were whole biscuits, and then using a pastry bag with a long snout on it or something of that nature, you can inject jelly or white cream uh, filling or whatever you would like into them, make them like a cream cream filled donut or a jelly filled donut. And you can come up with a real treat for the kids. A real treat for yourself, for that matter. Ooh, see, I let those go just a little bit long. They're not hurt. But I'm going to turn the temperature down just a little bit because those are cooking a little faster than I had planned. But they are not burned yet. Uh, the dough does not burn quite so easily. But these are a little darker than I like. I prefer them to be about this color. And if you feel that, that feels and looks almost exactly like any donut you would buy that was store made. And since these are a little bit overdone on one side, I'm not going to cook them any longer. But even that color is not bad. Uh, they are warm, mind you. And they must cool. Uh, I recommend you let them cool for about half an hour before you spread any frosting on them. Uh, simply because the frosting will melt if you hit them too early. And sometimes you splash a little oil. Be careful. Uh, as I said, it can be dangerous to make donuts. Just like anything else you cook in a kitchen, it can be dangerous. So always be safe in the kitchen. That was my cat Howler saying hello. Okay, those are coming out and going over on my paper towel to drain. And even my... Uh, Donut holes are now cooking along with two donuts. You'll notice that as I cook, I clean. Uh, I don't always have everything done, but uh, I can make quite a dent in any cleaning that needs to be done. Now, see, I turned that one over and it stuck a little bit, but as I flipped the other one over, it stopped it. Make sure my donut holes are flipped. Give that a couple of minutes there to uh, finish frying up. And here is a tin of eight donuts. Uh, don't ask me why they call it a tin, uh, because there's only eight in it. But I guess this is an eight of donuts or biscuits. Uh, you can flip them over a little bit if you'd like to just to make sure that they are done to your liking. And like I said, as far as like coating the donuts, you can coat them with just about anything. Powdered sugar, regular granulated sugar, brown sugar, brown sugar and cinnamon, white sugar and cinnamon, or cake frosting like I'm using. And uh, if you keep it at the right temperature, right now it's on medium temperature. And if you keep it on the medium temperature, they don't burn. They, they cook to the right point, And when they stop frying, you're done. So you can just pull them out and put them over on your paper towel to drain. That gets rid of any oil. And... You're done. Uh, 
So now I have eight donuts and eight donut holes. A couple of them got a little bit doneer than I'd like, but they aren't hurt. They will still eat fine. They're just a little crispier on the outside than these are, but not much. And uh, you give them about half an hour to cool, and after about half an hour, you can frost them. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull one of them here, and I'm going to put some frosting on it just to let you see what it looks like. This one is not cool enough really to frost yet, but. In this case here, I'm going to do it just so I can show you. And you just spread your cake frosting over it, like so. And now you have a frosted, in this case, strawberry frosted donut. Uh, you can also, like I say, use sugar, powdered sugar, cinnamon sugar, just about anything you wish to cover your donuts. Uh, it's a quick, easy way to make donuts. It only takes a few minutes. They're delicious. The kids will love them. And it'll save you a trip to the donut shop and buying donuts at five or six dollars or up a dozen. Uh, this tin of biscuits cost me about a dollar and a half. I give or take a few cents. The cake frosting, I already had the cake frosting. It was like 89 cents, I believe, or something of that nature. Uh, but I had it left over from where we had made a cake. And now I have it on my donut. And if you peel the donut open, you can see that it's just like a donut on the inside, light and fluffy and delicious. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in another video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you. Enjoy.